what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here soon time my halloween ends in this video here again today going into talking about uh something that came out from viewer non and sharing my thoughts on that and also this theory that i'm seeing starting to be brought back up again about a bus crash and Lori strode causing the bus crash from halloween 2018 and how that could factor into some of the things we have been led to i guess assume we can expect going into halloween ends shout out to wolfman's got nards uh i saw your video so i'm just going to do my thoughts on this really quick i do vividly recall a reddit user had talked about this many years ago and i actually leave a link to the post in the description because i was able to track it down uh in a fan theory where they were talking about that idea of laurie strode being the one who caused the bus to crash in the halloween 2018 movie now he the, the the user on reddit highlights that it stated several times at the beginning of the film that michael was being moved from the asylum to a maximum security prison where he'd be put away forever when the reporters come to speak with Lori, she is already aware of the scheduled transfer as she's of course been keeping tabs on michael for 40 years everyone is probably screaming right now that new loomis was obsessed with michael and clearly had a hand in crashing the bus but i don't think so so they go on to talk about how we can see Lori sitting in her truck downing nips waiting for the bus to leave the scene ends with what clearly looks to be a hallucination of the shape approaching her her vehicle that being and we then jump to the restaurant where Lori shows up and is clearly drunk she appears to break down over embarrassing her family but i believe this is actually guilt now that's interesting they think that what happened after that scene of her screaming in the truck or her vehicle was that she didn't show up to that dinner with allison karen and allison's dad i can't remember his name but she doesn't think that it had anything to do with Lori being drunk as much as that had to do with Lori arriving with a lot of guilt written all over her face because of what she just caused when the bus crashing. Um, so she knows that freeing Michael will eventually bring him to her, but he will kill people along the way. So the next day, Lori is doing something in her kitchen with a TV playing in the background. The news report lays out how the, how the bus transporting Michael crash and the patients were found wandering. They go on to talk about Lori barely flinches at this information. She should be freaking out and running to get her family to safety. Instead, she calmly goes to her daughter's house and then is asked to leave after scaring her and her husband. Lori is clearly ready for her showdown with Michael. This is proven later when we see the full scale of her security system in her home. Now, I like how they're trying to back that up by how Lori is essentially someone you can consider being responsible for that bus because of how well prepared she was for this moment. Now, admittedly, the traps and everything, that is, of course, things that took years to be prepared for. But keeping tabs on Michael like that as well and just going into the mentality of what you were dealing with for the past 40 years since your friends died and you survived in 1978 you've been in this mentality of convincing yourself that of course you can't be freed until the boogeyman is gone and can't harm you or anyone else that you love that you feel he could potentially pose a threat to if he's not put down so when related to the bus crash i know a lot of people thought well dr sartain was the one who did that i mean I don't think he outwardly said that you can correct me down in the comment sections i don't think he outwardly said that as much as it is heavily implied by his motivations revealed and in the fact that in halloween kills we're doubling down on the fact that michael was not after laurie it was an obsession of dr sartain and he was the one who orchestrated this this meetup of of victim versus of person who kept victim held down or something like that i can't think of what to call michael <laughs> so when it pertains to that going into considering what happened to karen with halloween kills could Lori now be in a state in halloween ends where she is blaming herself for what happened to karen and this could be something that of course we we find out in halloween ends where over time we dive into Lori a little bit more learn what she's been dealing with ever since the events of 2018 and kills and she discloses this information to allison for whatever reason decides to disclose her hey you know what i'm the one responsible for why michael myers escaped on that night i thought i was killing him but it actually ended up being something that was much more severe or just to even back up what i was starting to talk about earlier she wasn't trying to kill him she purposely wanted that bus to crash so that michael could escape and that's exactly what happened now how all of those other things inside of the bus of course because that has to contribute to it as well how that would factor in i don't know i do just think that it is possible for them to of course pull that plug my stance on it though is that i would rather they don't i would rather they don't do that because again i think that's going to make Lori a little bit more of a uh you're trying to just i guess giving her some villain type of thing where she clearly is 
insane at that moment where I'm trying to already sympathize with her, but I can't really then, you're taken away from some of that sympathy when you are outwardly looking for a battle with this man. But then again, she actually does have a comment where she says she prayed that he would escape. And I think at one point uh, she's asked by Hawkins, why the hell would you do that? And then she says, so I can kill him. So again, her causing the bus crash, it's not something that's impossible or it's not something that wouldn't fully make sense. As much as I do think that that direction could lessen some of the sympathy certain audience members feel for Lori. And this could, of course, add to some of the guilt she's experiencing during the movie, because we know it seems like this movie is going to be very character driven. They're going to be diving into things about Lori. Hopefully what Michael is up to, of course, what Allison has been through, what little Lindsay Wallace is up to, how everybody's been impacted by what happened all those four years ago since Michael's last appearance. Now, viewer Anon put out this tweet a couple of days ago, yesterday, something like that. He said, while we're on the subject, Halloween Ends has had has not had a public test screen yet, which I pointed out when I made my last video. What I know of this script is interesting. If it matches what they shot, you can expect a very different kind of Halloween, a complete swerve from the scale and carnage of kills. So at that point, I'm expecting this movie to, of course, be something similar to the 1978 film, something that shows us Michael stalking a lot more, because I know people think that's missing from this trilogy. Michael stalking, us getting to spend time with these characters before before they ultimately meet their demise whereas with Halloween Kills it is just simply rushing into it all because of the fact that it's picking up after the events of Halloween 2018. 2018 does a better job at letting you spend time with the characters before all the carnage unfolds and I think given the not knowing what the runtime will be of course just yet they're gonna do that a lot more heavily with Halloween Ends where we actually get to see glimpses of Michael in Haddonfield but they don't know he's there he's stalking them we're gonna catch up with them we're gonna learn what they're up to we're gonna have have deaths occur throughout the day ultimately leading to carnage unfolding in Halloween night people throughout the day will think that this means that Michael Myers is back but there's no proof of that because no one's seen him in town but we the audience have seen him it's just that all the people he's stalking have not seen him I would love an approach like that to happen in Halloween ends where it's more character driven and I think that's what we will get but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification you never miss a video in the description I have links on my social media accounts on Facebook Twitter and Instagram you can message me there of course to limit us any movies news or reviews you like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys I will see you in the next video